Hey there, lovely soul, and welcome to this video for the full moon. Here today, as I'm recording this, it is the 28th. It is, oh wow, look at that. It's 221, almost 222 here on the 28th. This has been kind of a long time coming with this video. I've been working on setting up my my videos i have two cameras here so i have my card camera so we can really get a good look at my cards and me shuffling and the setup here and also my main camera here um so this has like i said this has been um something i've been working on for the last day trying to set up video and audio and i'm having sinking um sinking issues with the audio and the video so i've had to change my preferred idea which was having a a picture in picture kind of thing so the main the main camera here being the main the main uh video with the the camera or the the card camera being in the corner however the program that i use for that is i guess just having a hard time keeping everything situated i'm sure it's because of my relic dinosaur of a mac uh macbook that i have so what we're doing now is i've shifted so i can move on with my life <laughs> and i've shifted this so we have it um we have a side by side view here so i'm actually going to be uploading a separate video with just the main camera and also a separate video with just this uh camera video as well so anyway without further ado let's get into this i hope you like the new setup i hope that this sound works for you i'm going to try to keep my my face not too close and not too far away from the the microphone um and we are going to be getting into our full moon readings now this is very different than what i've done before and something that has that came to me kind of a little fluttering butterfly about do, working with birth days or or numbers and dates and stuff and it just didn't quite hit until um these last couple days and so what we're going to be doing is going by your birthday so if your birthday is between the first and the fifth that first reading is for you the sixth through the uh, 11th then the 12th through the 16th the 17th through the 21st the 22nd through the 26th and then the 27th through the 31st so we have six reads i will be doing um a couple of other ones but we are going to be doing this one first and each of these six readings will incorporate some different cards um i have dragon fey uh sacred geometry archangel oracle i have archetypes hidden worlds um and then we are going to get into um for sure what we're going to be using is the moonology uh and light seers tarot and the dreams of gaia tarot so um Next, I want to get into what this full moon is all about. And right off the top, I want to send you over to Tanya Gabrielle. She is a astro numerologist. So she combines astrology with numerology, which is super awesome. And I highly recommend subscribing to her and watching all of her videos. But um, definitely go and watch the video about the full moon if you haven't already. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this full moon in um in libra where when where their sun is in aries both are at eight at eight degrees and um so of course they need to be at the same the same degree to 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 have the sun directly behind the moon to illuminate the moon perfectly for the full moon but then there's also a lot of other things going on um with our planets with the in in eight degrees so we have a stellium happening but again i don't want to take up time in this video um 
uh, trying to describe or or get into that because it's really her Tanya's thing and again I just really really encourage you to watch her video on the full moon for um for all of that information but the eights the infinity um symbol takes a a front and center uh um center stage there because everything is with the eights with the infinity symbol with um getting into the energy of our infinite nature connecting with our souls being strong in that energy being in that that zero point of the infinity symbol and having that balance and so really the beginning of this year has been about stabilizing and getting a nice solid firm smooth foundation for ourselves and sifting out anything that doesn't belong and getting things in a in a way that keeps us and gets us stable gets us into a place where we can receive we can connect we can heal we can make connections in our lives so we can put things together for myself this month it's been a lot of clearing out space and energies that pull from me and then also connecting deeply with the Akashic records with my past lives and and going into very deep healing for myself so I can um, really kind of solidify things moving forward and I know that that's been um, maybe not the exact theme for theme for everybody but it's been about let's get things more stable let's find a peace let's let's really bring in our authenticity and tap into what makes us tick what fuels our fire what are our passions who are we what needs to be healed what are we in fear of what holds us back like all of these things all of these components that that make for a bumpy road and then what do we need to smooth that this um full moon I started feeling with the past full, with our last full moon, um, honestly, literally. And I talked about this full moon and this chunk of time between the last full moon and this full moon being really, really intense, very pivotal, a lot of big changes and revelations and, and stuff coming up in this time period. And boy, Yes, it's definitely been that for us. So, um, so anyway, without further ado, I want to get into the readings. Um, hey there, and welcome to our third, <coughs> excuse me, our fourth video for our uh, birthday reads here for the full moon and the last week of march this is for the 17th through the 21st birthdays so welcome to you who are born or had your spirit day um between the 17th and the 21st your spirit birthday i should say um So if that doesn't relate to you, if you don't identify with what a spirit birthday is, that's okay. Just just your regular birthday, the day you were born between the 17th and the 21st. There's our card. So let's see what we get here. Bring love into the situation. Wow. Right right into it with bring love into this situation new moon in aquarius okay bring love into the situation well i'm feeling a couple different things with this um literally allow love to come in as well as see things through love see a person see a situation through love 
Um, also feeling forgiveness might be a part of this read, needing to forgive, you forgive yourself, bring love into yourself. Oh, look at that. Our first card out is the five of, I'm going to move this here, is our five of fire. So definitely some kind of conflict going on. Like I said, need to forgive yourself and others. What's our second card here? Another five, five of air this time. Interesting. Next card. Oh, our nine of air. I'm really interested with this nine of air. And lastly, we have our 11, oh no, sorry, six of fire. Interesting. So we have our five of our five of fire, five of air, nine of air, and six of fire. Very interesting here. So I want us, because I'm this this card here with the oh, I don't have any music playing. I apologize. Give me one second. I like to have music playing. Whoops, sorry about that. Dang, that was loud. Sorry. Jeez. I hate ads. But I refuse to pay to not have ads. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll break down, but for now I'm like, no, YouTube. <laughs> I, I refuse. Okay. So, where I was going when I realized I didn't have music on was... Um, wow. Uh, almost directly, really close to here, this five of fire. Rivalry, rival, rivalry, wow. Competition, aggression, bullying, conflict, discord, chaos. A time of chaos, conflict, conf confrontation, a battle of control and dominance. Do not judge or condemn others. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely some type. I'm feeling like this is a current situation. Like, cause this could, this is also saying this could be in the future, but I feel that in the future, it's just dealing, you know, cleaning up this situation, but there's definitely some, um, a situation where there's conflict. And I think that you're possibly, um, or both, both people or all people in this situation are not, are not quite seeing all of everything, which is typical, right? Which is you have your perspective, they have their perspective, but to take yourself out and see a 360 here is really what's needed. Let's get into this nine of air. I feel this is going to give us some, whoops. Okay, there's water, there's fire. Oh, there's my nine of air. <laughs> okay, nine of air, self-awareness, universal consciousness, understanding, insight, vision, imagination, fantasy, creativity, open to possibility, possibilities are infinite, know thyself and know the universe, what dwells within you dwells within nature, belief creates all that exists was first imagined, fantasy is the birth birthplace of reality and you were born to create, imagine your fears away. The nine of air represents the imagination and our connection to the universal consciousness or universal mind. It signifies the importance of knowing thyself for in truly knowing thyself, one will know both the universe and the power of the void. 
ask yourself what if the universe we dwell within is actually the mind of another being what if the universe what if the universe is in reality a god mind and we and we the creation of another being's imagination what if within our minds there exists uni universes within universes where creatures that we dream of and imagine dwell in the same way we do here upon earth and within their minds are more universes like fractals where the same pattern repeats and creates our minds contain a universe and within that universe are creatures and beings who also have universes within their minds. The universe in which we dwell is one of billions existing within the mind that is yet another universe. The patterns repeat in both directions exponentially, creating an infinite number of universes and realities. Now ponder a moment, what if we looked within and discovered that within the realms of our minds we create new worlds and new realities with our belief? We choose to believe in something and a new world that mirrors that belief is born. We stop believing in something and that world either evolves with our beliefs or ceases to be completely. Universes overlap, are born and die, forever bound to the life and beliefs of the God mind that created them. What if billions of lives were dependent upon our belief for their very existence would it not be wise to believe with understanding and knowledge would that not create a universe that is a little more consistent and conducive to life awesome so and it does go on um but we're gonna stop there with this because this is really like i said talking about a greater perspective seeing things from a greater perspective is really what is needed here and um because that is really the key that's going to set you free from this experience but let's move quickly into the six of fire Uh, healing, meditation, negotiation, arbitration, truth, truth, boundary, support, diplomacy. Resolution is needed. Communication and diplomacy required. Be willing to make concessions. Let go of bias. Be open-minded. Two sides to every disagreement. Know the facts. Understand your rights. Don't be stubborn. Yeah, so this is about seeing things from a greater perspective and then being able to go from, from this major conflict to more of a resolution putting down the arms you see them with their with their swords going down and um this wise this with the wise king in front of them going you know we're we're not gonna gonna have a battle here we're gonna have a a conversation so these are and, and so we started with this in the beginning and with our fourth card we have this so um let me see if there's anything else here a time of healing through meditation negotiation arbitration it is a time when communication and diplomacy is required in order to end a conflict or dispute there are times in our lives when we may find ourselves caught up in a dispute or conflict after boundaries have been crossed or our feelings hurt or ego bruised. If lines of communication remain open and both parties are willing, the conflict can be resolved. However, there are often times when both parties find themselves unable to find or maintain the middle ground. And if they must continue to work and or play a part in each other's lives, a, medi a mediator is required to negotiate or arbitrate a truth. Truce. So, um... We're going to get more cards here about this, but there's definitely something going on. There's some type of conflict, some type of, um, of fight, chaos thing happening. And it's like both people don't want to see the other side. Um... I'm also picking up that you may be the person caught in the middle. Ace of Cups, King of Wands. 
right when I said that, they fell out. Five of Pentacles, our third five. And six of Wands. Okay. So Ace of Cups coming in underneath. Let me move this a little bit. Coming in under our five of fire. Um, there is love here. That's the frustrating thing. That's why we're stuck here. Because there is love here. Um, and no matter which person you happen to be, the arbitrator, the person in the middle, the person on either side here, um, it feels like there was something happened, like there was a, a, like one person did something that caused the other person to be upset, to, to cause a, a, a situation, to cause a rift here. I feel that either there's been a lot of communication about it or almost nothing. And that there's some confusion and that there's an actual person, there's somebody, so whether that's you or the other person, um, if you're one of these main people, like knows like it's me and knows like if this is going to be fixed, it needs to begin with that person. So that person could be you, that person could be the other person, or you could be the person in the middle who's, who is kind of, you know, it, I see a triangle thing happening here where you're like literally the triangle thing happening here where you're in the middle and, um, and, and it's kind of your position to go, okay, let's sort this out and see what happened here. And because there is love here, I think to establish from the, from the, the beginning that number one, there is no like malice intended, whether that was from you or the other person, there was no actual like, I'm going to piss this person off. I'm going to get them angry i'm going to you know i'm going to do something that upsets them it wasn't like that it wasn't like that you didn't do this thing to upset this person but what you did or didn't do upset this person or upset you they did something that upset you they didn't mean to upset you if anything they could have been meaning to even help you but it really upset you and it caught and it just opened up i see this like Boom, open up this can of worms kind of thing and just let a lot uh, unleash. Whether it was quietly or loudly, that's what happened. But again, underneath it all, there is love there. Um, but this is going to take, and this is interesting, that King of Wands is under this Five of air and this five of air is all about like just not seeing the whole thing or being in denial or being really stubborn about stuff um and this king um i'm really feeling that with this uh this card always feels very um guardian angel to me or even michael archangel michael enter excuse me, energy for me with that lion there. And um, I'm hearing if you allow us to help you, if you allow us to help you, to guide you, and you set your pride aside, you set your ego aside, and just let the door open for resolution because nobody is happy here. Nobody is happy with the way things are. It needs to be resolved because again, there is love there. If we're have, we have five, three fives here. So something needs to, something needs to change. Um, and it will, it will change. Something will change. 
Uh, we have the six of wands and that's coming in under this uh, six of swords. So we have a definite resolution on the way. Um, it just, we needed to get to a certain space and time, certain energies needed to clear. It's like, we're not getting on the road with all this freaking fog out there. Like, that's just stupid. Let's give it five hours. Let's give it a few weeks. Let's give it a month, whatever it needs. <laughs> and then we can see where we're going and things can, you know, get to, you know, we can be illuminated. We have our guides coming in to shine and we're open to receiving the light. But first the darkness needed to come in and we needed to go within and really see what this did for us. What did this event produce? because that's where the gravy's at. What did this event produce? Let's extrapolate from the details of exactly what it was that happened and dig a little bit deeper underneath the surface of what that was so we can understand more about the situation really on a more energetic and spiritual level because there's something about this. I feel very, this is very, um, faded very like this had to happen and that's why it wasn't out of malice it wasn't like I'm going to piss this person off or I'm going to you know <laughs> and I think all parties know this but still there's work that needs to be done and um and things need to be resolved things need to be understood because there was enough in this foundation for there to be a lot of love there there is a lot of love there but at the same time it's like that foundation i feel i i see like rocks kind of stuck together and it's not smooth it's it's wobbly and if you walk on if you step on any one rock it might tumble and you might fall and it kind of feels like that like this this was um movement and action and experience and an experience that was um i kind of feel like it's kind of like moving forward blind with a blindfold on like i'm doing the best i can i don't know what i'm doing but i misstepped kind of thing and i did and and, and it caused this whole avalanche of energy and emotion and feelings and and this kind of business here again this could be very quiet or it could be very loud it could be you know just things just kind of pulled apart and there's a stop in communication or there was a lot of like loudness about it. <laughs> um, but in any event, let's come back here to the beginning. Let's bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation with that beautiful amethyst color. So if anything, if this is really resonating for you, please connect with your amethysts. Please connect with your amethyst to help transmute negative energy, bring in positive energy, because that's what I also feel needs to happen here with this. And let me see, where am I going? I'm really feeling archangels. And now what I did here with this, this is the uh, Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue. But this is just the section of the Major Arcana and the archangels are the major arcana in this deck. So, oh, looks like we got two cards here. Let's see. The moon. Look at that. We got the moon with Haniel. Uh, important psychic insight, insights, events, behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So we got the moon. 
Oh, how funny. And da 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 the Empress with Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself. Oopsie. And others. So, okay. I feel here that this moon, this full moon that we're at right now is really going to be bringing in the energies to help resolve this. That it's like, I think that maybe you or the other person or both or whatever kind of been like, let's just go to our corners, let some time go by, let some new energies come in, let whatever needs to have happen, happen so we can um, kind of wash this away but but it's like things need to be resolved and I really feel like this with the moon this moon energy um, and it being the full moon right now important psychic insights I feel like there's just the 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 codes coming in the light codes coming in for uh, for you to and them everybody involved in fact everybody involved to be able to um, bring in this light from the moon to be able to integrate those energies. Um, in our last read, we got the healing temple of the lunar light. So um, I feel again with this energy, it's like very similar with that. We'll see what we get with the hidden worlds in this read. But um, I do feel like connecting with the moon and just knowing that this full moon is just really bringing in energies that's going to help this situation and with the empress this is talking about nurturing again bring love into the situation with this moon card and then we and then we have um we have the empress here coming in uh and just saying look uh I feel Mother Gaia really strong here saying, look, everybody loves each other. And we just need to honor ourselves, the situation, being human, um, allowing for space. I feel that she's saying like, look, this was handled as best as it could be handled. It is what it is. You can't go back and change anything, but you can in this moment decide to create different and new energy with the incoming energy of the moon and that she's going to be amplifying this healing energy for this situation and for any situation that's in conflict this is what she does but she's saying i like really see me like holding you like a baby and holding them like a baby and giving you love and giving you kindness and nurturing and saying you know what it's one thing to maliciously intentionally try to hurt somebody to be mean to be violent it's another thing to be insensitive to be um to wrapped up in your own energies and fears and whatever it may be that causes you to do something that hurts another person in inadvertently um and we've all done that. We've been we've all been on all sides of that. We've all done or said or not done something that has hurt somebody deeply without knowing it or without intentionally doing it. And we've all had that happen to us. And it's really how we handle both sides of that. Do you take responsibility? Own own your shit. Even if it, even if you didn't mean to see a lot of times people go, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't mean to, to hurt them. That triggered them in the way and da, 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 da. But if you care about somebody, you're going to, to want to resolve that and, and come into a better understanding. Every conflict is the opportunity for greater understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and peace and nurturing and care and love every single one so that's what the empress is saying that's what mother gaia is coming in to say here with this card okay um this is heavy this is heavy energy for shit sure um i'm feeling that we need to see tools with our archetype 
cards. Let's see what tools we, what tool comes out to help us with this situation because it really feels like we want this resolved. We don't want it to stay this way. We want it to get better. We want things to be copacetic and again, bring love into the situation. We want to get to this resolution, this understanding um, with each other. So let's see what we get here. perfect card the perfect tool for this situation here we go <laughs> the tear oh look at that the tear card and just so you know this this deck is new a lot a lot of these decks are new to me actually i've been guided recently to get a lot of new decks and the the archetype um uh deck is new to me so we're going i'm going to read directly from it and i usually like to read directly from oracle anyway and as you see even from tarot because why the hell not um <laughs> okay the tier 169 There we go. The morning, the release, the rain. Tears are droplets of letting go. Once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or situation to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. Some say that tears are so powerful in softening our eyes that they open up a portal to the unseen world. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us and we are reminded of their... Oh man, this is making me... This is going to make me cry. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it we, um, we are reminded of their internal embrace. We sense our humi humility, our... Sorry, we sense our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. It is likely this card appears when there is grieving yet to do, a sinking down into disappointment or despair. That, once acknowledged, will bring a shimmer of clarity to our dewy eyes. And when light, um, melody, melancholy flowing through, when dark, drowning, drama, darkness... And the tear is powerful and it is possible to be summoned in, oh, sorry, subsumed in its waters. Find a supportive place to open the floodgates. If both the tear and the river appear in a reading, this indicates an excess of the water element in your life as a Oh, as an Eurovatic tradition, balance it with fire and earth. Okay, so, <laughs> so we're talking about conflict. We're talking about this whole thing that happened, um, and that there's a uh, what does it say? Often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or a situation to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. So. <laughs> This is really interesting because it, I really feel like this is even just acknowledging that 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 you that they just the understanding that there is love there and there is this like sadness uh, disappointment that this has happened from all sides and that um and that there there needs it's like i'm feeling like it's the one drop of water that's going to break the dam and that needs to happen so if that's you that needs to get vulnerable and go to the other person and say look 
I am broken up about this. I want us to talk about this. I, I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry that this happened. I, you know, just, just allow, just break, take off the mask, take off the armor, take off, you know, the, the need to, to be safe. And, and conversely, if another person comes to you that you feel crossed a boundary or hurt you or didn't live up to something that they were supposed to do, if that happens, then please be soft and kind and bring love into the situation. Don't be like, on your knees, peasant. <laughs> Well, don't put them through the ringer. You know what I mean? Just be open to allowing them to come in and hear what they have to say. Because remember, um, because, uh, because there is this going on, you know, there, 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 there will be this. And through that, through through the conflict and going into a place of of peace it there's a lot of growth and knowledge and awareness there to be you know to be had there so this is about i know if it's if it's you that needs to apologize it needs to extend yourself it needs to you know throw the rope out to you know bring this thing back together then then kind of take yourself to some type of little emotional detox or cord cutting or something to reset the energies and allow for this communication excuse me oh my goodness to open up um because you know if trust me if this was a situation that did not warrant your your energy we would be saying that we would be saying let this go move on this is a bad situation but that's not it at all it's about letting the energies take its course take its flow through the moon through the sun through gaia and into you so ground with gaia and you will be receiving all of this incoming energies that will help soften you up that will help um open up the channels of guidance to come through you so you can feel good about what's happening and not feel conflicted because again the tear is about like releasing of energies releasing and letting go and accepting the situation and so from there you can heal um so there's that lastly we're gonna get into Actually, not the hidden worlds. We're going to get into haha, the sacred geometry cards. Because I feel that we, we need some... Um, oh, my candle just went out. Interesting. Um, I feel that we need some guidance here as far as to help us heal or to help us open up to this resolution because i do see that happening but we need to go through the steps we, we you at any time or the other person at any time could decide not to partake in resolution but because there is love there i really feel like like it's advantageous and it's better for everyone that this gets resolved um and there will be a greater understanding and again this guy is coming up pretty strong right now to say that we should be open to our divine counterparts angels guardian angels archangels um ascended masters whomever that we connect to to help us help us on this journey also um I think that there's this one meditation that I have out fear it's to overcome fear, shame, guilt, um judgment um There's our card Dr. Hedron. 
another sacred geometry card. And what does it say there? All seeing and knowing. So there we go. This is our platonic solid card number 22, doctahedron, all seeing and knowing. So let's get into that. Um, but again, like I was saying, is allow for your guides and guardians to come in. Here we go. Um, all seeing and knowing, I am open to receiving divine wisdom. This card has appeared today because you are feeling spiritually stuck. You feel as though your connection to spirit is lost and you aren't receiving messages in any avenue of clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, or claircognizance. It is time to rebalance and recalibrate and find the reason why you're experiencing a block in this area. There may be a number of reasons, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, whether the re whatever the reason, do not fear receiving the divine wisdom that can be accessed if you are open to experiencing heavenly connections. So by using and connecting to the doctahedron through meditation and in healing work, you can increase your spiritual and physical awareness and access your higher consciousness and vibration. This will lead the way to spiritual ascension and awaken dormant DNA. It activates the pineal gland, which assists the quantum shifts and assessing and working within other dimensions. The pineal gland also stimulates the release of melatonin, which is stimulated by darkness. By working with this gland, and increasing the levels of this hormone it will help regulate wake sleep cycles so like our circadian rhythm which for those of us in the americas um in the u.s we are and have been dealing for the last couple weeks with the time change so we moved up an hour which tends to mess people up just as a side note okay so So what we, what this is coming, so this is just more like we, there's more to the situation than, than we've probably seen on the surface, or maybe we have seen, you know, the underlying reasons for this situation, or maybe we just think we've seen it all, but we haven't seen it all, that sort of thing. Um, so with this Dr. He doctahedron we want to think about connecting to spirit again archangel michael coming through and just saying just across the board when it comes to um uh seeing and knowing And at this time, and I'm also being told now, of course, it's not a circle. Oh, we have right here. Duh. It's not a circle, but kind of see it as like moon energy coming through um, crystallized. And speaking of crystals, crystal suggestion, um, Dr. Hedron uh, is a pl pl platonic solid, Herkimer diamond, um, any of the 12 energy stones, um, So one that's standing out for me specifically would be tanzanite, um, moldavite, and perdolite, and herkimer diamond. Um, so if you're going to work with crystals... Let's think about that and, and meditate on the doctahedron. Um, you can, you know, look it up online, look for videos, look for um, energies and that will, um, that you can meditate on, you know, just look at, looking at this. So um, at this uh, platonic solid to help you and um, to help ground these energies that are coming in, I'm hearing, because they're really intense. But again, just 
be patient with the process i'm hearing please understand that this situation um is very faded i may have said that before it's very faded it needed to happen um be open to healing from it from whatever angle that you are represented in this um and and know that from wherever perspective you are that you do have the ability to go in all directions with to in any direction with this to bring love into the situation and with that said i want to thank you for being here i hope that this reading offered you comfort and peace validation um and advice for um how to deal with it and if you could please like subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down in the video so um um, let me know how this resonated with you and if you're going through something like this and w how this um, situation is working with you and if this information is really helpful for you. I'd love to hear about it. So thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.